Hey, what's up guys? Nuno here. The new Lumen 24 just got released and it brings many new features. From ray traced nature to translucent materials, parallax interiors to colored glass, I will cover the best ones in today's video. So, without further ado, let's get started with number one, ray traced nature. <laughs> this is a great one. All nature assets are now working in ray tracing. To give an idea, here's the example first worth seen that has a lot of vegetation rendered in Lumion 23. You can see how the nature elements look flat, without contrast and with no translucent materials. Now, the same image rendered in Lumion 24, that's a big difference. The nature elements are now being rendered as they should, making the overall image much more convincing and immersive. Now let's see both images side by side for comparison. On the left, Lumion 23, and on the right, Lumion 24. There's still one limitation though. Nature elements won't be affected by wind at this point when using ray tracing effect. But I'm sure they'll add that in a future update. Next is improved real-time ray tracing preview. One of the main things you'll notice when opening Lumion 24 is the real-time preview. Lumion implemented a new denoiser, NVIDIA's real-time denoising, that works quite well at denoising an image with a low sample count. Let me show you a comparison. On the left is Lumion 23 with a noisy preview, and on the right side is Lumion 24 with a clear picture. The real-time preview is now very close to the final render. Another new thing is that when you click to preview the image, now when you make changes to the color correction effect, you don't need to keep clicking the window to preview. You can see these changes happening in real time, and again, it will be very close to the final render. Next is fully ray traced glass. In architecture, glass is a popular material. You can use the new ray traced glass, toggle, twin ends, intricate glass objects. Let's have a look at an example with a new fully ray traced glass. I will just activate the option under the ray tracing effect. And now you can see how these glass jars and cups look. If I disable the effect, they look too dull and not realistic. This is a big improvement for glass materials. You can control the color and strength of absorption in ray traced glass materials with the absorption slider. And with the emulated thickness slider, you can define how thick your glass objects are. And next up is colored glass shadows. I've seen many people oftentimes requesting this feature, which is now possible with ray tracing. Both regular glass with ray traced reflections and the new fully ray traced glass will now cast colored shadows. Just add some color to the glass material and when you render, you'll be able to see the shadows with the color you defined. The next feature is translucent materials. Lumen24 also brings ray-traced subsurface scattering that accurately displays the natural diffusion of light through surfaces and volumes. This material is essential for leaves, marble, wax, and curtains, for example. The best way to visualize this effect is by shining light into your hand and seeing how light is passing through your skin. Check some examples with and without the subsurface scattering material. You can see it plays a big role in having a realistic image. And now if you have a curtain with color, this will also influence the room, as you can see in this example. To add this material, simply increase the subsurface scattering material property. The sliders controls the intensity, while the color picker influences the tint the object will have once the light passes through it. And now, as always, if you want to take your renders to the next level, I invite you to check my new Lumen Render course, dedicated to Lumen 23 and 24. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check it out. Next up is Parallax Interiors. Lumia now features 25 pre-made parallax interiors that have both day and night versions and also include controls for interior light. These 25 parallax interiors cover offices, residential spaces and retail areas. They are quite useful to fill in an interior space when you are working on an exterior because, as you can see here, when you move the camera, 
there's this illusion that it has depth. Even though it's just a single plane, making it quite lightweight in terms of performance. And let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a dedicated video on this topic. Next feature is landscape tiling. I'm really excited about this new feature. This will apply a smooth, seamless texture to your material, eliminating any visible tiling and enhancing the realism of your scenes. And the best part is that it's not limited only to terrain textures. You can use this in any material. All you have to do is go to the material editor and then on the tiling properties you will find a new toggle called enable landscape tiling. Just turn it on and you will now have a repetition free texture. Just have a look at this side by side comparison. <laughs> Makes a big difference, right? Next feature is batch importing. Now you can import multiple files simultaneously when clicking the import model button. Just select all the files at once and then click open. You can see here the models list and you can also add a prefix to place the models in a folder within the Lumion documents. This will for sure save a lot of time when importing multiple objects. Next is 5 times faster ray tracing rendering times. Lumion claims that the new version takes significantly fewer samples to produce higher quality results, making it faster to render your scenes. So, for example, what would take 512 samples in Lumen 23 now takes only 64 samples or even less in Lumen 24. This is especially noticeable in rendering video, as you can see in this example. Next up is GLTF file format. A new file format is available for importing inside Lumen 24. These models are generally lighter than other file formats and support the PBR workflow. To have a better idea, Here's exactly the same model, but one is GLTF and another FBX file format. The FBX is 59 megabytes, while the GLTF is only 5 kbytes. And <laughs> that's right, 5 kbytes. That's a huge difference and can save a lot of space on your hard drive. Next feature is new user interface. Now everything is placed on the left side of the screen for easy access and the new sidebar has the Lumion welcome window, the save, Build mode, photo mode, movie mode, panorama mode, settings, and tutorials and support. And that's not all. Now when you over the save icon, it will display the buttons to save or save has. So you can quickly access those and keep working. Next is new grid overlays. Now you have new grid overlays to better help the image composition. So you have the rule of thirds, Grid, Golden Ratio, Diagonal, and Triangle. Next up is Ray Tracing Presets. Now you'll find a new quality dropdown in the Ray Tracing effect. Here you can quickly select from 5 new presets, depending on the type of output you want. Fast is really just to have an idea of how your image looks, and the extreme for final renders. One note, the custom one will keep always your latest changes. Next is new library content. And as always, with every new update, there are more objects and materials added to the library. You can find the new objects by just typing the search L24 in each content category. There are new 100 fine detail nature, 9 new objects, 45 new people and animals, and 155 new effects, and many more. There are also other improvements like the precipitation effect now works correctly with ray tracing, as well as the fog effect. There's a larger thumbnail preview. When you over any library object, it will now display a large preview, allowing to better visualize the model. The library search tags have been improved and now allow for adding, removing or replacing tags from any search query. The material editor has also seen a change. Now the material categories have been moved under a single tab and the icons received a complete redesign. And there's also a new example scene called Museum Pavilion and eight new style effects from ray tracing and rasterization to conceptual representation. These are some of the best features I selected to show you in this video. You can check the full list on the Lumion website, I'll leave a link below for you to check it out. And let me know in the comments below what you think of these new features of Lumion24, which one did you like most, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, and I'll see you in the next one.